Let me give you a full tutorial on how to best integrate Shopify with your Spotify profile as an artist right now, right here. Hey, it's John here at Hyped and in this video, I want to give you a full tutorial on how best to integrate your Shopify merch store with your artist profile on Spotify. And specifically, I want to answer the three most important questions that come up. Question number one is, how do you set it up? So I'm going to walk you through that step by step, click by click. Question number two is, what should I even offer on Spotify? So I'll give you the answer to that. And question number three is, what can I expect from the integration? And I'm also going to answer that for you. I have my Spotify for Artists account and my Shopify account open back there on my computer. So we'll hop right over and I'll walk you through it click by click. All right, I'm in Spotify for Artists right now. And I went to the profile section and what you can see is that under your artist name here, you have a new tab now, which is called merch and it's in beta mode right now. And this is where you link your Shopify account to your Spotify profile. So obviously this assumes that you have a Shopify store set up. So if you have not done that yet, then just go over to Shopify, sign up for a new store, create a product, and then you're ready to proceed to the next step. But assuming you have done this, assuming you have a presence on Shopify, then all you gotta do is click on log into Shopify here and Spotify is asking for the store name. This is simply the unique identifier that you gave your store when you sign up on Shopify. So for me, this is DJ John Gold. So I'm going to type this in and I'm going to say link shop. And now we're being redirected to Shopify. And first of the bet, you see that under sales channels. Now we have Spotify show up and we got to accept the terms here. So let's do that. And in my particular case, I have multiple artists connected to my Spotify for Artists account. So now I have to tell Spotify and Shopify which artist account specifically I want to connect. So let me hit the connect button here, it's sending me back to Spotify. And this is merge for my John Gold artist account. So I'm just going to take this and then say confirm. And now we're set up now automatically Shopify synchronized the products I have here with my Spotify profile. And in order to show you this, let me just go back to Spotify for artists and we're going to go back to the profile page and under merge, you now see all these merch items show up. Now this does not mean yet that they're showing up on our Spotify page. So this is important in order for them to show up on the Spotify page, we have to add them to the shop here. And the limitation right now is that you can only pick up to three items. So this begs the question, what is best to offer? And I'd like to you know, offer some thoughts on this. And then what you do with this is obviously entirely up to you. One of the biggest challenges that I have with Spotify at the moment is that you have very little access to your audience on Spotify, right? You don't know exactly who they are. You can't contact them. You don't have access to their email addresses, those kinds of things. So I'm just super excited about any opportunity that presents itself to collect contact information on the audience in Spotify and then make that audience part of the fan base that you can engage via email campaigns and with future offers and maybe even on other platforms. So the way I want to utilize this new integration with Shopify is I want to offer three products that do different things. The first is a free download. And you might be wondering, John, a free download. I thought this about making money. And I say, yes, you know, if we make money through the Shopify integration, that's going to be great. But I don't assume that everybody looking at my profile is instantly going to buy one of my T-shirts or something like that. And offering them something that is a free download might incentivize a lot of fans to just sign up for this in the process leave their email address with me and then they become part of my email list and I can make even more merch offers to them over time, but I can also retarget them with new music. I can send them pre-saves for Spotify that might interest them. I can just nurture them from fans to becoming super fans. So I think the opportunity to offer free products here 
is a really exciting option. And the way you create a free product is simply you create a new product in Shopify and then for the price tag you assign zero dollars. So that's the first product. The second product that I'm gonna add is another free product. I have a free CD album that I offer where fans don't have to pay anything for the CD album other than sh the shipping cost. And I think this is another great way of invite people into my world as an artist, right? There's some real value there. You can buy CDs on my store, but now there's an option to get a free CD if you only cover shipping. And then the third item, I wanna make something that's actually for sale. So I do have a couple t-shirts in my store and what I can do is just hop over into my Shopify account. And then what I'm gonna do is under analytics, I wanna see which one is my most popular t-shirt. And it is the house music saved me t-shirt is pretty popular and the smiley t-shirt is pretty popular. So they're, they're pretty much head to head here and it's less than you know 20 t-shirts in difference. I have both of them here. Now this one doesn't show very well because a black t-shirt on a black background, the way Spotify displays it. So in this case, I'm gonna use this one because I think it displays um, better, but I could obviously fix the thumbnail here if I wanted to. But the point is I wanna pick a product that I already know is something that sells well. I wanna put the best foot forward when it comes to showing and selecting a product for my Spotify account. And this is it, these are gonna be my three products, a free download, the free CD, both of those are what's in the marketing world often called a lead magnet. It is something that is a, um, a very easy to decide offer for a fan because they don't have to pay anything. And then I have the t-shirt for our t-shirt lovers. Now, the great thing about this integration is that any changes you make here inside Spotify for artists are gonna be instantly live on your Spotify page. So let me open my Spotify app and we're gonna look at my artist profile and I'll show you how the merchandise shows up. All right, I'm now inside Spotify looking at my artist profile. And if you are in here and you scroll all the way down, all the way to the bottom, this is where you see the three offers that you just created through this new Shopify integration. This is where they show up. And if fans see those and they wanna take advantage of any of those offers, all they have to do is click on it. Sorry, this opened on a different screen. Let me pull this over real quick. And then this is what they see, right? And if they wanted to proceed from here, they can just click the buy now button and then land in Shopify and complete the transaction. So a very easy process, very simple, and could be effective. Now, I wanna use that as a segue to talk about what to expect. Now we have three merch items added to the bottom of our Spotify profile. And does that mean I'm gonna sell a ton more merch? My expectations are that initially this is not gonna make a big difference. And here is why. I think fans that engage with the music on Spotify, they haven't been trained yet to look for more interesting stuff at the bottom of your profile page. I think most fans interacting on Spotify, they stay towards the top of your profile where they see the most popular music, when they see the most popular releases and can see any albums that you have released and things like that. They are there to engage with your music. They are not there to engage with your merchandise, at least not primarily. And because Spotify put the merchandise at the bottom of the page, I think it'll go unnoticed for most fans right now. Now, what I'm hoping is that as more and more artists add this to their profile and fans take notice that there might be interesting things down there, such as free downloads, right, that previously didn't exist on Spotify, that they'll make an effort when they discover an artist that they really like to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the profile page and look for interesting things, look for interesting offers. I don't think this is something that will happen overnight. I think this is something that will take time for 
fans to sort of adapt to. And this is why I think this is a great opportunity and I highly recommend that you make this connection right now between your Shopify store and your Spotify profile. I recommend that you test different things, products at different price points, maybe even something that is a free offer like I'm using here as a lead magnet to attract fans into my world that share their contact information. But I don't go into this with the expectation that there's gonna be a whole lot of activity right now. I think this is something that will just grow slowly over time as this becomes a staple inside of Spotify. Now, if this sounds a bit like a downer because you watched this video and you were hoping that you'd explode your merch sales through the Spotify integration, and now I describe that that's likely not gonna happen, then let me share this. There are ways to explosively grow your merch sales. One is email campaigns to your existing fan list, right? If you have an email list of fans and you make them merch offers, especially limit time offers where you discount your merch just for a couple of days, that works amazingly. Whenever I send out one of those emails, I sell more merch. And the other strategy is ads. I have run pretty successful campaigns on Facebook and Instagram to drive fans to my merchandise. And this works best if your merchandise is something that connects to your music culture without necessarily having your artist name plastered all over it. So if I hop back into Spotify for artists, you see I have these t-shirts that work really well. The Smiley Asset House 303, which is an homage to the, you know, the Roland TB303 and the Asset House sounds house music saved me those are all t-shirts that cater to fans that enjoy house music culture the music that i make and the audience that i try to attract what these t-shirts do not do is say john gold john gold john gold all over the place this is a little bit harder to sell but if you make merch similar to this right that speaks to the culture around your music this is something that is very sellable through ads and you can drive significant volume of merch sale and the good thing is that you have these people on your email list afterwards, right? And you already know those are buyers because they pulled out their wallet to purchase something from you. So having those kinds of contacts on your email list is just golden. Now, I'm gonna finish it up here real quick by uh, pointing out that I have an in-depth training on all of this. If you are wondering how best to pull off merch, how best to scale merch, how best to sell merch, I do have this training here where I show you a case study how I sold $2,902 in music and merch to my fans in just 30 days with just simple Facebook and Instagram ads. I'm gonna leave a link below this video. If this is a topic you ever wanna dive deeper on, then just click on the link and check this out. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Cheers.